whatever content today uses retool to onboard creators among lots of other things. And I'm going to be showing you how we do this. I'm Rohit. I'm one of the product folks at Pepper Content. Uh, the team of engineers and product managers have really adopted Retool in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, so what does Pepper Content do? We're actually building the world's largest content marketplace, uh, which connects freelancers and businesses over three content categories. That's content writing, design, and translation services. So you can actually, if you're looking for emailer designs or posters or even blogs and articles, we do that at very high quality and at affordable prices as well. We've worked with over a thousand brands, which are iconic brands across the world. And uh, yeah, it's growing really, really fast. So I think one part of the big problem that Pepper Content faces is since we work with a very large number of creators and we've got to evaluate them really well, it becomes a problem because we have to do it fairly, objectively, and at scale. To give you some perspective, almost 45,000 creators have applied to be a part of Pepper. They go through multiple rounds of evaluation. And overall, we have about 4,000 creators that work with us. Now, these evaluation rounds are automated to an extent, but we also have human intervention where somebody really has to evaluate if the creator is worth worthy to be part of the Pepper platform or not. And that obviously can become a challenge as you have to do an increasing number of creators almost every single month. So before Retool, we were using a combination of Zoho CRM and our homegrown operations portal to onboard creators. So we were using these lengthy forms, building each and every component on our own. It worked out quite well for us, but we were obviously running into some scale challenges. We obviously didn't want to spend time maintaining this. We needed to roll out features really fast and maintaining squashing bugs was just too tiny. Whenever we needed to add a, mo a new category, software content writing, we went to design. We would have to re rebuild almost all of this over again. And that, I mean, engineering time is scarce and uh, I didn't want to use developers for that. Also, we had two systems, Zoho and our database, which needed to stay in sync. And I think all the engineers on this call will understand that sync issues, not, uh, not nice to deal with. So we actually implemented Retool sometime around March. When we retired both the CRM and our onboarding tool to be replaced by Retool, we started it for writer onboarding and now we have all of our onboarding modules on Retool. Let me show you how it actually looks today. So this is like our large table where we have all of the information about the different creators who apply to be a part of our portal. We use a ton of filters. This helps our onboarding team very quickly figure out who are the creators we want to onboard first. And to show you how the evaluation actually goes, let me show you a quick video. So as I, so given say a creator who's logged in, I can see all of the basic details, the profile details of Jibin, their work samples that they've uploaded onto our system. I can click on these links and even view their resume. Now, all of this is happening with Retool connected to our database. We also see the tests that they've given and the actual content of the tests that they've written. So an evaluator will actually go through the brief that was given to them, read the content copy that they created, and based on these details, now start to evaluate them based on what industries can they work on, what content types are they great at. And, you know, we've done this very simple interface of thumbs up, thumbs down, or he's just brilliant at it. Uh, we give them a quality score. And if we like them, we'll uh, click on onboard. All of our email notifications, et cetera, are plugged in. So the end-to-end -end flow from a creator coming in as evaluating and onboarding or rejecting them can actually happen from within Retool itself. Now, this obviously being a very, very quick flow helps us onboard a ton of creators on a monthly basis. So in fact, uh, operational efficiency has definitely become super cool. So in July alone, we evaluated almost 5,000 creator profiles between three people on our onboarding team. So we've got one designer, a one content writing lead, and one editing lead who's basically onboarded all of these creator profiles in the last month. So PepperType is our online AI content writing assistant. And for that, we've actually released more than 15 of our content types in the last 30 days with just one product manager building and pushing stuff through the tool. Also, I think the one feature that all of our onboarding team tends to love is the confetti. Every time we onboard a new creator, gives us a sense of satisfaction saying, okay, this is a job well done. So what do we love using in Retool? Obviously tables and queries, these form almost the heart of all of our apps. Uh, we use scripting very heavily. And the part that we love about Retool is almost every single text box or element is configurable uh, using syntax highlighting and markdown support. So we're able to build out tools and apps really, really fast. In fact, every time we've thought that, hey, this is something that can't be built on Retool and we might need a custom component, we were actually able to conjure a combination of multiple components, uh, build it in a container, and that kind of worked for us. 
and once we started building some tools in Retool, it just kept going on and on and on. In fact, we keep adding more use cases to Retool every time now. So we, we've stopped building internal tools as much and all of our peripheral tools end up going to Retool almost uh, automatically. And we do this because of four main things. One is once you have a base app, replicating modules becomes super duper easy. I can just do this copy paste thing across apps and I'm able to move things really fast. We use versioning, so nothing really breaks and access control keeps everything neat. So for all of our data across the people who are onboarding, we can keep their access control limited to the data that they need to see. Most importantly, the thing that I love the most is product folks can really go in and tinker without needing too much of an engineering help, which lets us also keep building upon these retool use cases more and more. So yeah, that's us. Thanks a lot. We've been fans of retool since we started working on it. Happy to answer any questions. And you can hit me up on at Jumble on Twitter or the teams at, at Pepper Content. Thanks.